Yo, y'all all want, want, want a lot of bullshit. All right. Y'all want bullshit? We could get into some bullshit. I intentionally, and and, and I felt it was allowed. I, I didn't want to get into, like, I've been, you know me, I'm always intertwined with a lot of the media shit that's going on. Hold on a second. The media bullshit, all that type of shit. Um, last week, or the last three weeks, I think it was a reshuffling of the cards, which I always like. It's a disruption. I like when outcomes and situations are changing that will have people look at things optically different. I can tell you I have succeeded with that in the last three months because before three months ago, there was a lot of people really talking about me very disrespectfully, like I'm not one of the biggest, not only media personalities, but the most successful in all, all type of business and, 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 and anything business. I'll just say anything business minded. I think after the last three months, people get it. Whether it's shaming the two scrubs, whether it's, you know, Showing y'all other people within the space and showing y'all also myself to let y'all know. Don't ever get it fucked up that I'm sitting here on Twitch. And y'all, and by the way, again, I mean, this is where I make music. This is a, it's a music studio. Not because I'm at the crib. Don't ever think that there's another media personality that has more audience than me or has anything over me because they used to belittle my what i was doing for a long time oh yeah he's just sitting in like the basement like making a lot of noise i think i have gunned up and clapped that shit from anybody who would ever say that and i'm very proud of that but there has been a reshuffling going on it's it's essentially it's like infinity wars a bit we got Joe Budden, who fired the two Stooges. Then Charlemagne went at him. Other other people within his network went at him. Stooges went at him. Other shit. Um, a lot. A lot of stuff is happening. <laughs> oh, Kwame Brown as well. I'm watching now. <laughs> Oz eight one eight. Shut the fuck up, nigga. Anyway, um, I'm not here to address a bunch of stuff. Let me just let me give my quick opinion on Kwame Brown. Kwame Brown is 100 percent right. I like what Kwame Brown's doing. I think people should understand Kwame Brown's plight. I think people, there's, I'm in the media. I've always said more than all these other niggas, like, y'all might be a talking head. I run a platform. I do a lot more in media than just talking. Not not to diminish what anybody else does. But running a platform, I've understood its power. So when I hear Kwame Brown get at Stephen A. Smith, get at um, Stephen Jackson, get at who else? Matt Barnes, and basically his thing is that, hey, listen, y'all are using y'all platform to tear me down, and some and your platform seems to only be valued when you're tearing down black men. I, I kind of understand because it's a double it's a double edged sword. I don't think that's their intent, but. Let's be honest, if I wouldn't be as popular as I am if I wasn't polarizing or if, or if I didn't give real opinions. If I just giggled and nodded along with everything I like, y'all be like, yo, all right, get him out of here. But when I could get on here and be like, yo, these savage is trash or young bands or whoever else I think is fucking atrocious. Y'all like the fact that people have opinions. Um, however, that does come with, you know, a lot of things. And that's where I, I agree with Kwame Brown to a certain extent. Kwame Brown has 
shaken up single handedly the media game. You have a bunch of niggas who haven't talked to him, who are making statements about him, analyzing him, making these overt assumptions that would sway public narrative usually about him. And he finally feels he has the platform. And by the way, that's the beauty of the Internet. When I say something about person A, it doesn't mean not because they don't have my reach. They can't respond. They can make a YouTube channel. They could just go on live. They could talk right back. And that's why, like, even when I remember when I did that Soldier Boy interview on Everyday Struggle and Soldier Boy, you know, I told him from the get go, I said, yo, I want the Soldier Boy that's online. So I want the soldier boy who's talking crazy to everybody. I'm going to challenge him. Lay your soldier. You know you frauded. And if you like your act, you a bitch. Don't cut it. Don't edit it. Don't take it out. Leave it. Because it's all in the mix. You feel me? That's just how I see it. So I like what Kwame Brown is doing because Kwame Brown is taking on media personalities. And I'm at it. And, um... With that comes a lot of stuff. So I like what Kwame Brown's doing. I just want to put, put that out there. Bro, y'all been media, bro. If I could acknowledge, and it's not all sunshines and dandelions when it comes to me, right? Bro, the whole Chicago shit that I did, like, you know, of course, you're going to have idiots. We're like, oh, act you like, I never clown nobody who died this and third. Like, if you felt it was clowning, that's because you didn't understand the terminology. It's like, they have demonized me for that error, but like, let's really even, I was even about to make a caption of it recently with um, the dudes in Jacksonville. You know what they do now? They forget forget all historical context. And by the way, I'm going to get to cancellation in a second because I'm going to handle it real carefully. But but still, you know what people said to me? They were like, yo, Ack, yo, you're like anti-black and whatever, whatever. Like, yo, you're calling these dudes savages. Like, yo, did you built your career of calling black men, black boys savage. And I'm like, bro, I didn't make this. They, they were referring them to themselves as savages and competing to be the biggest savage. I didn't make it up. Do you get what I mean? However, when you hear the narrative... It says, yo, Ack built a platform or built whatever off of clowning people dying in Chicago. Let's watch any one of my, my Warren Chirac videos. I'm clowning the idiots doing the crime. Now, I've grown to understand, and I do completely believe that there should have been some nuance um, involved with some of the criticisms, even of the criminals, because... I'm criticizing somebody who all he knows is that his uncle, his dad, his brother, his sister were murdered and were the victims of gun violence. Not saying that if he takes someone's life, I should feel bad for him, but you have to understand the, the environment that people are coming in. So it, it, it it's one of those things, you know what I mean? So, um, I'm not too sure if, if if I just talked in circles there or you guys got what I'm saying, but um, I was I was someone who kind of understood not only the power maybe I had, at least maybe in hindsight, but the power I had, but I also understood what was false blame. All right. Um. So so Kwame Brown, I don't I don't see anything wrong with what he's doing. Bro, I keep telling y'all, man, Kwame Brown having the same moment that nigga I had when Rory and Mealy Maul kept playing on my name, bro. Like, none of y'all niggas. I, yo, if I want all y'all to notice this. None of these media niggas, like, they all hit me up now. I promise you, every single one. They'll never play on my name like that again. That's why I, I keep burying them other dudes, because you need to make an example. It's like bullying. When people think you're somebody who will accept anything, they violate you. Bro, you notice when my name is talked about by media niggas right now, the ones that are relevant? I don't know about it. Who ain't relevant? Phone Master Flex mentioned my name. He has respect on my shit. Sean May mentioned my name. Respect on my shit. Joe, res 
there was a time that they were trying to disrespect. So if you don't stand for your shit, they going to disrespect you. I understand what Kwame Brown's doing because for him, he's like, all right, this is getting f farther than y'all just saying I wasn't good at basketball. Y'all are trying to really put a dark cloud over me, and now I got to fight back. I don't have a problem with that. Sorry. I don't have a problem with that. I don't have a problem with that. I keep telling y'all, for everything y'all have said, yo, I did this. Look at how my contemporaries and my peers talk about me today and think about how they talked about me in 2019. I want everybody to go back and do it. You'll realize there's a lot more respect today. Tell me I'm wrong. 2018, yeah, this nigga acts a clown, this, that, and third. Even if they think it now, you heard what Drake said. I could I could load every I could load every gun with bullets that fire backwards and still wouldn't lose a single rapper. Yeah, even if they still think that, they not saying it no more. I had to go through the trenches and fight for the respect I know I deserved. I see a lot of respect coming to my way. And that's why I've realized my job is done in, in that sense. I'm being honest. Yo, think about how they used to talk to me. Oh, niggas like action on a platform. Oh, this and third. Oh, shit. This nigga act. From the Rosenberg, Rosenbergs. From the Ruri and Mealy Moles who were jealous. From, like, even some of the people who I respected who, you know what I mean? Like, at times they were just kind of confused. Respect is now given. Anyway. Um, don't have a problem with Kwame. But I do want to talk about. I think there's a, it's it's a reshuffling of the deck. Who do you think is a top me? Flex did not disrespect me. By the way, Flex has hit me up. I've talked to Flex on the phone. Flex was nothing more than respectful. He's a respectful person, I've, and, and I'm respectful to him because he is a legend, and I respect what he does. He has pioneered a path for a lot of people. So, y'all can't send me off. Outside of me. Outside of me. I, I would like to put myself outside that. Um, I've always... Well, interesting question. Where do y'all think I fall in a mix? So in, in top media personalities, this is how I think. You name your favorite media personality right now, just spam it. I've always thought Charlemagne and Joe Budden were 1A, 1B, were 1 and 2. It could switch on any day, any month. I don't know who the top five would be. I'm talking about media personality that's valued for I don't want to say just hip hop culture like it's only music, but like for the culture we care about. I'm, I'm gonna read what y'all say. Somebody says me, Joe, Ak. I see, I see people putting who else? Gilly. Okay. <laughs> Somebody says Kevin Samuels. 